Hello viewers and welcome to a new episode where we will be discussing about Wesley MacLean model of communication. We have with us today Mr. Orko Prabhu Chattopadhyay who is a faculty of media studies. Hello sir. Hello. I am Shantan Mukherjee, a student of media studies. So tell us sir, what is the concept uh, behind this model? Well, uh, you see uh, the Wesley MacLean model of communication is a communication model that outlines the process of communication from the perspective of multiple gatekeeping. Okay? Okay. Now, first, in order to understand, we must present ourselves with a few objectives of how we are going to learn about this model. Hmm. Okay? So, we will first learn or rather understand the process that Mr. Wesley and Mr. McLean has presented to us. We will evaluate each component Okay. and uh, its significance and then we will understand the perspective of multiple gatekeeping which is the standpoint on which this model is based okay and uh, finally we will also discuss its relevance in present day scenario given that this this is a model that has been constructed in 1957 it is a model that presents with us with a view of gatekeeping which is a communication theory, which is a communication concept by Mr. Kurt Lewin. And this concept of gatekeeping has been implemented here at multiple levels so that we can interpret this more easily. Mm -hmm. We'll just go to the diagram. From the perspective of this model, yes. we are going to evaluate the process of communication. Mm -hmm. Now, A, let us say that A is a journalist and X1, X2, X3, X4 till x infinity yes, okay yes. are pieces of information that is available to a for example say as a journalist mm. a is moving around park street with his camera and with his curious inquisitiveness that is like uh, uh, pertinent to a reporter right mm. that is how he should be yes. so when he is taking that stroll mm. x1 would be a car comes down fast and has a small kind of an accident with another car. Hmm. There is a small scratch and the two people come out and have an altercation, verbal of course, and they go on their separate ways. Yes. That is an event that caught the attention of the journalist and the journalist was waiting with his camera. Is this relevant? Okay. He was there at that point thinking. Mm. He was uh, he was looking at that incident. He mm. was he had access to it. Mm. So X1 is that incident that took place. Journalist A was w waiting for something more spicy to happen after that. Maybe perhaps the police would have come. Yeah. So but that didn't happen. So X1 mm. was just an incident where a car came and uh, screeched to halt with a mild uh, sort of a crash with the another car and then two people came out had an argument and both left. Okay. A had access to that information. Hmm. X2 is an instance where a policeman is, say, sleeping on duty. Okay? okay. And there are cars that are passing by, breaking the rules, not wearing seat belts. And, say, there are bikers that are carrying three people at that same time. Okay. And they're passing that signal. Hmm. But the policeman is, like, uh, having a slumber in the afternoon. Okay? At that point, that is X2, hmm. which is another piece of information yes. that is available to the journalist hmm. A. Hmm. X3 would be say a convoy of a minister passing by and for that the whole road is jammed up. Free yes. school street which is at the intersection. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. That road is closed and until the convoy passes the free school street crossing is closed. Okay, okay. There is an ambulance waiting on free school street to be allowed to pass but is not being allowed to pass because of that minister's convoy that is going to pass along Park Street. Okay. But the family members of the pe 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 person who is suffering in the ambulance, they are like re trying to reason with the policeman. They are trying to reason that what will happen if one ambulance passes through. Hmm. Whereas the policemen are saying that we cannot help it, no, and they are, they are turning their backs on these pe people when they need their help, their medical help. That is another piece of information that goes out to the reporter. reporter A. Hmm. Say X4 is a piece of information such as a uh, person who gets into a fight hmm. 
and why is he fighting because he's trying to protect his girlfriend who was teased by Pedestrians. some uh, some other uh, unruly citizens on okay. park street okay. later on in the evening okay yes and uh, there were four or five people out there who teased that uh, friend of uh, the person and the person protested hmm. and that person was injured because of the violent uh, treatment that he got in return hmm. for his chivalry and bravery yes and at that same point the people who were were there on park street they mm. turned a blind eye and they moved on and say x5 is an incident that happened way along the way on park street and the reporter was not present there and he missed it okay so these are all pieces of information that is available to the journalist mm. a okay now mm. x1 was an incident which was not that relevant to True. the journalist because he thought that there are accidents every day small accidents and uh, you cannot cover them all and it's not going to interest the reader hmm. interest his audience so he does not pay much att much attention to that okay hmm. x2 is an uh, incident where a policeman is sleeping he keeps it in consideration it could be a funny picture funny snapshot next day okay yes if there is unavailability of news so yes, he keeps that in stock mm. but it is not that really important after all that's mm. a poor man he's been working hard it's summer time perhaps and it's, he's just taking a break okay yes. x3 is very much important mm. because there is a person's life that is at stake in the ambulance that is waiting for the minister to pass yes right mm. so the journalist he he utilizes his power mm. as a journalist mm. to bring about change hmm. and he upholds x3 hmm. and he retains it and he decides to print it he decides to write an article on it okay absolutely and he also decides to write an article on x4 which is a case of harassment that has been meted out to a uh, woman and uh, that entitled that our city is not safe for women so to and such incidents must be brought to the pu public uh, sphere so that those who are perpetrators of this are more careful next time and they are warned by more stern action hmm. okay so that is the perspective from which the journalist a hmm. looks upon it so x5 he missed it right yes so out of all these events hmm. that happened hmm. there was gatekeeping at a certain level okay x1 was filtered out because it was not important hmm. x2 was kept in stock but since he got more uh, relevant uh, information from x3 and x4 he had better mat he has better matter now to be presented yes in comparison mm. so x2 is also filtered out okay so there is gatekeeping at that point it is th those pieces of information are not allowed to enter the gate of information flow okay okay out of x he writes an article on x3 and x4 okay he works that journalist he works for a media house say abc anando hm the channel or abc network say okay hmm. so now abc network has a policy hm they have a policy that we will showcase information that is uh, relevant to sports to entertainment hm to so social issues as well hmm. but they might have a policy that we will not write against the government hm we will not write anything that is uh, that is uh, putting across a negative image for any minister or any kind of dignitary yes. okay even mm. though there has been an instance where that person is accountable where there mm. is a minister who is at fault it is a company policy hmm could be abc network okay Absolutely. now journalist a mm. he presents his case of x3 and x4 mm. to the editor of the network mm. to his immediate senior mm. the senior decides as to which information goes across right so c who is the editor or the media house he says that no x3 is actually uh, going to showcase min the minister that was passing by of a certain political party in bad light and it is against our policy we cannot have that we cannot allow that okay so either the information x3 mm -hmm. is filtered out even though it would be a really good addition to the inf information that is available yes. mm. 
Mm-hmm. And finally, and as far as X4 is concerned, mm-hmm. that is allowed to pass. More or less, it's packaged in a little bit of a way. It's really it's connected to earlier stories in regards to Eve teasing, and then it is allowed to pass to B, who is the audience means us. Yes. Okay. Mm. We, and we get information to this. Uh, we get to know about the event X four that happened on Park Street on a certain date, mm. and we get to know some parts of say X three. Okay. <laughs> yes. And we have got access to that information. So finally, what we are getting is doctored. What the information that is coming to us is finally having gone through various stages of uh, change. It has been uh, there has been gatekeeping at three levels till now, at least mm. one where the journalist made his own decision mm. as to which of the news are important, and also there was gatekeeping when the journalist's attitude is taken into consideration, mm. his likes and dislikes, yes, his uh, attention. Okay, he was not paying attention and thus missed X five, which could be a very important uh, uh, news piece of information that could have been relevant at that point. Why not? Yeah. So, there has been gatekeeping at multiple levels there. A with his gathered information, with his uh, with his inputs, he sent it across to C, where there again was gatekeeping, when the editor snipped off some of his uh, news story, hmm. and then finally it comes to B. Now B can also miss out on some information. He may not have read the newspaper on a certain day, so he does not get access to X4, or he didn't watch TV. Maybe he was out on vacation. So the, if that happens, then the communication has failed. Like that, Completely that point. possible, right? Yes. So there is multiple gatekeeping in this process. That is how it comes. Then okay? the original information is completely lost. Absolutely. B has the power. Say that B has received that information. B is the audience. Hmm. See. He has now finally received the information. X four, you see, X four reached A. A passed it on to C. Mm. Also, along with some parts of X three, yeah. through a newspaper. Then it finally came to B. Mm. Who is the audience? Now the audience can provide his feedback. That is F B C to C, or he can provide his feedback to the journalist. You see, nowadays uh, journalists have their email. Addresses written below their articles, hmm. so that he can contact them directly and communicate with them. Yes. Okay, and he can also send a letter to the editor of uh, the newspaper as well. Hmm. So the B, who is the audience, has the scope of feedback according to this ma- model. You see, this model was made in 1957. Hmm. So at that point, it was all based on print media. So uh, at that point, C is acting as an editor. It has been showcased by Wesley MacLean as an editor, and A as a journalist. B has got the power to send back the feedback. So this is one of those models that is not linear and uh, a bit progressive in this yes. sense. It has got this concept of feedback. So the doctored information that is that has reached B may be understood by B as having been doctored. Hmm. B might realize there is there are some inconsistencies. How hmm. can it be the policeman's fault? that the ambulance was waiting on park street waiting for the minister to pass by because the guy poor guy is doing his job he's been instructed by his senior okay. not to yes. allow any cars to pass be it yes. an ambulance yes there is a possibility but there is a po- he he might realize that okay. even though c who is the editor has portrayed hmm. the incident in that way hmm. so he might write a letter to c hmm. and also a letter to a the journalist okay. saying that but why did you uh, portray the policeman as the person at fault and why not the minister who has initiated this process hmm. why he can ask a question that is a feedback yes whether they respond to it or not that is that comes later yeah okay so the b the audience has a scope of putting in their feedback yes okay we understand now that there has been gatekeeping at multiple levels yes so what is this gatekeeping filtering of information according to our needs needs yes yes now there is there was a scope of sending all information out But why amongst X one, X two, X three, X four till X infinity, only th- two were selected and uh, one and a half was allowed to pass? Why do you think so? Because of the society, maybe. The most important uh, aspect in this regard is, see, there is an infinite number of available information every day. Every day, billions of events happen in different parts of the world. In different contexts in different localities different people saying different things which are relevant to certain communities 
some things that are relevant to the masses. Some country is making a statement about another country. So there is always something that is on in this world. There are millions and millions of bits and pieces of information that is made available to journalists all across the world hmm. and also to the people. Okay. Then the capacity of the media to allow it to pass. Depends on? The capacity of the media. Yes. See, a newspaper can be 20 pages. Hmm. You, you can extend it to 50 pages. Yes. But 50 pages are not enough to hold, to withhold, to, to involve information about all the events that have happened across the world. There is just not enough space. On a television channel, there is just not enough time. There, is just, there are just 24 hours if it's a 24-7 channel. And there are slots for advertisements as well. So there is very little time available for information to pass. So only the best pieces of information get selected. Is that why? Or that, is it, that or is, is the primary reason why. Okay, or is it because of the audiences uh, catering to some news and not to other news? See, there is a, that is the decision as to which information is allowed to pass hmm. is made upon the target audience, on the yes. basis of the target audience. Yes. As to which, the choice. Yes. But why not all is because of the capacity. Okay. Why not all the information? Okay. And the audience selects which one? Mm -hmm. Why not that? Because the, there, is a, there is a limited capacity of the mm -hmm. media. Mm -hmm. Be it the television media, be it radio, mm -hmm. be it the print. But with the advent of technology, in today's world, we have the internet. And the internet is almost infinite. The internet is... Is, is consistent of citizen journalists. Everyone who has access to a mobile phone camera is a prospective journalist. The journalist that I took an example of on Park Street, he may have missed X5. Maybe you were there with a phone camera. Or he was just there to witness it. And you post about that on Facebook. Absolutely. So that information has reached yes, the media. Yes. And it might interest people who uh, have interest in that regard. Mm. Okay, now you can also see X3 was modified to safeguard the minister hmm. by the media C house because of their policy. Hmm. You were there too <laughs> with a camera or say you were just there to write about it as a witness hmm. and you post about that incident on Facebook. Everyone reads it. Everyone reads it and it is unfiltered. Completely. Yeah. So with the advent of technology, hmm. the concept of gatekeeping has been diminished. And multiple gatekeeping hmm. has turned into multiple gate opening at various uh -huh, levels, actually. Yes. Right? So a person like uh, A would be more careful as to not miss any such information <laughs> or else he'll not be that efficient. C would hold him responsible for not having specified anything about X5, hmm. although it happened on Park Street. Hmm. You were there as a citizen to report it. Why didn't you, Mr. True. A? True, true. So the, this model of communication was very relevant at a certain point but at this point with the advent of technology as other models that are based on gatekeeping it is a little bit it's having a little bit of a crumble right now in terms of its relevance but there is scope for its furtherance see we have put in the x's to xn means infinity yeah. to signify that there are infinite number of Events. pieces of information right yes, yes. So if we now add more A's, A1, A2, A3, A4, hmm. to depict you, me, citizens, to A infinite. Okay, yes. Absolutely. And let there be some C's, hmm. okay, for say C1, C2, C3, for the journalists, and say that let there be one big C that hmm. symbolizes the internet, hmm. which, which has very few, very little filtering. Nothing. As such, okay. yes. Facebook doesn't filter anything yeah. uh, that is relevant. Hmm. So let there, let there be one C. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then there can be B, which is the complete audience. Yes. Hmm. So then we would have furthered on this model of communication to suit our ways in the present day scenario. So the Wesley McLean model of communication, as we see it, has given us that scope. It is up to us. We can further this model. And that is how new models are made, new models of communication. Mm. That is how research is conducted. So in this sense, Mr. Wesley and Mr. McLean built upon Kurt Lewin's concept 
and furthered uh, the concept of gatekeeping into a concept of multiple gatekeeping and now have provided us with the platform to further it okay. based on new media and other technological advancements mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. apps and smartphones mm -hmm. okay true so after now that we know what each component is we all we now know that for any communication to take place there has got to be a source a was the so the journalist a he was the source to us who is b there has got to be an environment that is park street yes okay where the excess were happening hmm. we must have a sensory experience means when there there was this event happening when the car was uh, being stopped the uh, the ambulance hmm. was being stopped i sensed it my attend as the journalist a he sensed it he stood there and he was watching what is happening so there must be that sensory experience okay you must capture that in your mind also in your camera perhaps now objects of orientation means which were the uh, competing uh, sensory uh, stimulus like when that was happening the event where the ambulance was being stalled there may have been another event happening just next to it where two people were quarreling amongst themselves which is irrelevant at that point yeah. but that is also an event happening after all mm -hmm. but which which event should i orient myself to that decision has to be taken by a absolutely yes so x1 x2 x3 amongst mm -hmm. them your choice is to which object i will orient myself mm -hmm. that is the third that is the fourth plane where mm -hmm. the how how the model progresses mm -hmm. okay now the message interpretation mm -hmm. means after i have viewed the incident where the ambulance was stalled and uh, the minister passed by with the beacon on top i as a journalist might have a feeling of anger so my interpretation mm. as a journalist is also based on my field of experience and how how i am taking it as an individual how i am interpreting it okay if i am a lenient person and i am i am for the minister because he has helped me sometime so mm. i am partial yeah so my interpretation of that same message will be different so that is another plane how the model progresses okay right mm. the receiver you now how do you interpret it i may write a fiery article about that minister mm. you uh, as an you may support the minister he may be a <laughs> neighbor be. of yours <laughs> and you would say no no this is not true so the, mm. so that is your power of interpretation as the receiver you also have an orientation you have access to x1 x2 x3 many such events different channels are showcasing you different news articles different events of information are coming your way out of which some interest you some don't when something does not interest you you change the channel so the, there you are also orienting orient there is orientation as to which program you will orient yourself to would you listen to a program where i'm giving you out news information mm. or would you listen to a musical program at that point that choice is yours right so now there is the next plane that is the feedback mm. means after you have read my article you may be may be offended by it because the minister is your friend mm. and you may send back a strong worded letter to my editor to my editor c rather than to me the journalist a mm. or you can write a letter directly to me as well yes that feedback. is your choice so you just give your feedback in yeah. this regard the minister can put in his feedback okay or he may give his feedback to other news channels mm. that what they are saying is lies they are partial he has that right he's got his freedom of expression as well just mm. like us and overall there is gatekeeping so the primary gatekeeper according to the wesley maclean would be the editor to whom the journalist has brought the information he is playing the primary gatekeeper's role mm. means he decides which information is allowed to pass mm. so that is that is the other plane the mm. gatekeeper mm. and that is the primary gatekeeper mm. but there are there is gatekeeping at multiple levels as well at the journalist just like i uh, said earlier now we also have to take into account opinion leaders means after you have received the information mm. as a part of b after i have received the information i will discuss about it with others i meet and i may not believe some things i, I may believe some things but my belief would primarily be based on means on the credibility of the person saying it okay if sachin tendulkar says something i will believe him if it is something about sport it's not an advertisement it's relevant that so many ch uh, cricketers are not being given a chance mm. to play in a in the indian team even though they are deserving mm. i will give it a thought 
Why not? Yes. But if someone who is not a cricketer says that, maybe I will not believe him. So mm. the credibility of the information that I have received, mm. my orientation to the original piece of information that has been uh, that has been given out to me, mm. is also based on who is given, who is A. <laughs> yes. Who is A or who that. is C? Mm. Right. So the opinion leader, that is the other plane. Okay. That matters. So the merits would be that the, this model is an extension of the previous linear models and mm. it has concepts of feedback. It can account for both interpersonal as well as mass communication. True. Right? And it is very descriptive mm. as to each component has been described uh, virtually as well as uh, theoretically. And it also accounts for binary interactions where two people are involved. Mm. Okay? Uh, demerits. It cannot account for multiple dimensions. Just like I said, what if there are many A's? Yes. It has not accounted it, but it is open yeah. for us to further. Hmm. So in that sense, it's a uh, it's a demerit. Yeah. It can be seen in two contexts, mass communication and interpersonal. But the only difference is in the point of feedback. Because mass communication, the feedback is not as effective as it is in terms of interpersonal. Hmm. Out here, feedback is direct. Where out there, it may or may not happen. Hmm. Right, in that way. So... Gatekeeping is happening at multiple levels as we had for, uh, earlier discussed mm. and each level has gatekeeping and there are uh, parameters that is effectuating that gatekeeping. Mm. So uh, to conclude, I would like to say that uh, this model of con communication is really very progressive and uh, it has presented communication from a perspective of how information is manipulated at various levels. Because that is exactly how communication process takes place. All other uh, researchers have evaluated the process of communication in a very arithmetical way. Whereas here, he, uh, the, uh, these researchers they have added this concept of how how real in in real life and how in reality information is influenced. So there is this concept of influence and also of availability mm. in terms of uh, information and. Uh, even though it was made back then in 1957, it is relevant now because it has given us the scope or rather the platform to further research in this regard. And more or less in that, in all in all, I would say that it is extremely relevant in today's scenario where, uh, and, in, and it is also relevant when you try to explain the workings of governments. Yes, we get an overview in our everyday lives. We never... Uh, evaluate it in with that much of an effort actually yeah. but yeah mr westley and mr mclean both of them they have put in a great effort and yes. thanks to them it, they have provided us with the scope of furtherance thank you so much for listening i would look i, I would be looking forward to both your feedbacks thank you sir <laughs>